Yes. Oh, yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Weren't you with that one, too? Yeah. yeah. So that's that what I thought. You know that? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I guess you're not one of the different ones. You're the Fulton Water District. You're welcome to bring it, yes. Okay. Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm guessing. Nine? No. I'm guessing 15. Um, um, uh, remind me when you said it was going to be a first. Yeah. Oh, 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 I think oh, I'm going to make a dead. I think I replied to it. Exactly. You could be right. Yeah, I have another calendar. You're probably right.
Jerry. Hey, sorry, late. Okay, we're ready. We're ready to call this monthly meeting of the Scarborough Sanitary District to order. It is September 23rd, 2021, 6.30 p.m. All right, roll call. We will start with Ben McDougall. Here. Mike Stein. Here. Paul Rodriguez. Here. Ruth Summers. Here. Jason Greenleaf. Here. Joe Carroll. Here. Thank you. We're all here in person for the first time in a long time. Thank you. Wonderful. Approval of the minutes. There is a set for the August workshop. I'll entertain a motion. Thank you, Ruth. Um, I, I do have one comment. Only after we can discuss it with a second. Oh, okay. Second. Second. Okay. Second. Thank you, Ben. Okay. Now you may speak, that Mike. Go ahead. Um, I believe I was at, I attended the uh, workshop, and my name is not listed. You did attend the workshop in person. Good point. Thank you. We'll add that to the minutes. Um, any other comments, questions, additions? All right, so approval of the minutes as amended with Mike's name on it. All in favor? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and one abstention. Jason abstained. Six to nothing. Cool. All right, now the regular monthly minutes. I'll entertain a motion for those. So moved. Thank you, Paul. Second. Thank you, Ben. Any additions, subtractions, corrections? All in favor? Six zero one abstention. Cool. All right. Superintendent's report, your up, Dave. All right, thank you. Thank you. Um, the uh, month, a copy of the monthly report of operations for the month of August is included in your packet. Our average flow for the month was 1.47 million gallons a day. Our F1 quality was well within our permitted limits. We averaged 97% BOD removal and 99% total suspended solids removal with concentrations of 8 and 2, respectfully. A copy of the pump station flows for the month of August is included in your packet. The causes of some errant data are explained on that spreadsheet. 
nothing of significance. Um, Josh uh, Roy, uh, who is in the audience here, started on August 30th. He, uh, he, he took the uh, chief plan operator position. Uh, he's uh, already proven to be a good hire and fits in very well with the crew. I'm very uh, pleased with that. He has taken the initiative to work individually with staff to help him get a better understanding of their roles and responsibilities. So um, thanks for coming on board, Josh. Uh, the draft updates to the uh, sewer use regulations are currently under review uh, by DEP, and actually Bernstein Shore has completed their review, and we're incorporating their comments into, into the document. I invited Matt Height down to meet Josh, uh, during which he, um, and uh, for the audience, uh, Matt Height is our DEP inspector. Uh, so during that visit, he uh, chose to conduct an inspection of the wastewater treatment facility. The visit uh, went very well, and um, uh, since I distributed the packet, I did get a copy of the report, and I distributed it electronically, and, um, you know, the report it does uh, present very well uh, with uh, his observations uh, saying that the operation and maintenance at, are excellent at this facility. So he, um, the reports are very in common in what we have gotten in the past. Um, I posted our design standards, which we've developed as a result of the updates of our sewer use regulations, and they're on our website now for uh, easier access uh, for developers, and that's proven to be effective and helpful in a lot of ways. As I also posted on our website uh, the uh, remote participation policy that we adopted at the last meeting. Um, so they're, uh, they're both readily available now. And um, this coming month, we'll be replacing the carpets in, the, in four offices in the admin building. These carpets are 18 years old and have reached the end of their useful life, and this was a uh, budget ex expense item. With that, that's all I have. Any questions for the superintendent? Okay. Correspondence. Oh, shucks. A copy of the ability to serve letter was provided for the proposed lobster processing facility uh, called Shucks Lobster uh, to be located at, in the uh, Innovation District of the Downs. I had um, Underwood engineers review uh, this request, uh, um, considering the type of uh, facility that we be, that it is. I'm concerned about uh, odors and uh, strength of waste, so we're. Uh, working with them on, on it. With that, we are we will be requiring some additional information as summarized in the memo. I included both Underwood's memo in, along with the um, uh, ability to serve letter. Cool. That's correspondence. Old business, there is none. New business. Um, before we get started on the new business, first item, I would like to entertain a motion to suspend the rules and remove an item from the agenda. The Pleasant Hill Woods Memo of Understanding was not ready for the meeting. I'll entertain a motion to remove it, please. So moved. Thank you. Second. Thank you, John. Any discussions? All in favor? None opposed. Thank you. All right, Lot 30, Innovation District, The Downs. On behalf of the Innovation Way LLC, Acorn Engineering, who is present, I uh, requested district approval for the proposed 7,490 square foot uh, building consisting of um, 6,100 square feet of light industrial space and 1,300 square feet of office space on Lot 30 within the Innovation District. The site will, serve, will be served as an access, by an access drive that extends across Innovation Way. Based on district standards, the anticipated daily flow is 269 gallons per day. I recommend approval with the following conditions. Um, the wastewater flow be limited to, to the 269 gallons per day of typical sanitary waste. Any flows in excess of the allotment or characteristics are subject to additional approvals. 
Uh, the lot was approved as part of phase one of the innovation district with an allocation of 160 gallons per day. Thus, the capacity reserve fee for that allocation was paid at that time. With that, the capacity reserve fee do, is do, that is due now for the additional 109 gallons. Uh, the current capacity reserve fee is $18.12 per gallon, $18.12 per gallon and is adjusted monthly based on the ENR construction cost index. Uh, based on the current rate, the total capacity for, uh, fee due is $1,975.08. Any flows in excess of the approved allocation are subject to additional approvals in capacity reserve fees. And this approval is subject to completion and acceptance of the sewer within the innovation district. I will entertain a motion for approving the project. Thank you, Jason. Second. Thank you, Ben. All right. We have someone from Acorn Engineering that is going to explain a little bit about the project. Great. Uh, my name is Peter Heil, project manager with Acorn Engineering. Um, Dave did a great job giving an overview. Uh, had a little bit of correspondence with Dave and Josh um, to come to the layout presented in front of you today. Uh, as part of the Lot 31 uh, construction that's ongoing right now, uh, they'll be stubbing out a uh, sanitary line that stubbed just past the property line. From there, we'll be installing a new manhole running a sanitary service uh, to the building with two additional manholes. Uh, one closer to the building as requested um, from Dave and Josh for clean out and inspection. Um, it's a six inch PVC line um, and the, the proposed use is office industrial. One of, one of the users is Dillon Sheet Metal. Um, the other user is a potential building sign uh, business. Uh, no floor drains, uh, oil water separators are proposed as part of this application. Um, so standard, standard sanitary uh, discharge into the system. Um, I think that's a quick overview, but happy to go Any over the layout. Questions for Mr. Heil. Okay, I'll call for a vote. Oh, go ahead, Joe. You said that you're in better work? What's that? If you're doing metal work in part of the space? Uh, Dylan sheet metal, yeah. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what kind of metal work they're doing, but. They, they make a lot of duct work. They're actually right now located down in the old snow scanning building uh, right by our pump station. So we can get okay, there full already. Yeah, Has there been any, right any issue with that as far as metal products and the outside drains? No, we haven't. Okay. Um, yeah, they've actually done work for the district doing some uh, emergency repair work for us. Thank you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Any more questions? All in favor. So, but that's, those are called administrative appeals. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Special acceptance. Thank you, um, and that's typically in the mm -hmm. special exceptions are interesting and we'll play. All right, so we are um, phase pieces. nine. We're going to need to comply with a couple extra criteria and they come for you to decide that. Um, um, more and more we see sure. okay. given that responsibility. Um, it really is. So this is for the town, says, town center residential uh, area, uh, which is the Fourth Amendment and includes lots 40 to 62 of the to making things a little uh, easier for applicants. You don't have, as, uh, you just said, phase nine. Uh, board you've got to go to. On behalf of Cross Hold Holdings uh, and Center Street Park, Squirrel Palmer requested district approval for phase nine. There's a lot of case law on when is the right time for uh, The Town Center Residential Fourth Amendment. Um, this proposal uh, development is a 23 lot amendment to the existing mixed use town center. The main lock court has recently said they actually lock 40 is going to be a condominium development of 36 units. So they changed the law. The lock the means something else said no more appeals. Any additional board approvals in your town. The type of multifamily that it's going to be is going to be determined during the future site plan application. Lot 43 through 62 are going to be single family lots. There are 20 of those that will be there. 
A low pressure force main within pace away um, would convey uh, 19 of the 20 single family homes via individual low pressure grinder pumps by, uh, by E1 to the sawgrass drive three inch force main. A low pressure sewer stub has been included north of the Hackam Hackamore Ave pace away intersection for possible future connection. In addition, the applicant uh, proposes one 12 unit condominium building on lot 40 to be tributary to the three inch uh, sawgrass force main. The building sanitary sewage will be conveyed by a private duplex E1 pump station located on uh, lot 40 site and pump north to a two inch H, uh, HDPE force main proposal at Hackamore Way Avenue. One single family lot is proposed to connect to an eight inch gravity sewer main extension, approximately 45 feet at the southern portion of Pace Away. This flow is tributary to phase one Scarborough Downs Road and subsequently the eight inch gravity main on Technology Way. The remaining two condo bu buildings on lot 40 are proposed to connect to the existing gravity private um, sanitary mains previously stubbed during the townhouses at Front Runner Park. Uh, this flow is ultimately tributary to Technology Way on the eight, um, eight inch gravity main. The two northern multifamily lots, 41 and 42, are proposed to tri tributary to the second on site pump station located at the center of the parcel. This lot is proposed to connect to an extension of the gravity sewer line in front of runaway. The sanitary main is proposed to continue south to the Hackmore Ave and front runaway intersection to collect the sanitary sewage from lot 41. The second on pipe stump pump station mentioned above is proposed during uh, a separate and concurrent um, uh, approval process with the Board of Trustees. The, uh, the below is a graphic that illustrates the proposed sewer shed of the project area. Uh, the proposed sewer consists of 520 feet of 8 inch diameter gravity sewer, 864 feet of 2 inch low pressure force, and 225 feet of 3 inch low pressure sewer, 7 manholes, and 5 private manholes. I recommend approval with the following conditions. Waste fall out water flow limited to 200 gallons per day per dwelling unit plus infiltration for a total of 19,022 gallons per day of typical sanitary waste. Any flows in excess of this allotment or characteristics are subject to additional approvals. This proposal is fully subject to the capacity reserve fees. The current capacity reserve fee is $18.12 per gallon per day and is adjusted monthly based on the engineer's news records uh, uh, construction cost index. The capacity reserve fee is to be paid for in four phases as described below. Any flows in excess of the approved allocations are subject to additional approvals and capacity reserve fee. So uh, the first phase is uh, single family homes, uh, lots 43 and 45, and that would be $11,415. Second phase would be a condominium development of $130,464. Third phase would be the apartments at $137,059. In the fourth phase is single family home lots 46 through 62 for $65,739. For a total capacity reserve fee of $344.678 and 64 cents. Uh, sewer extensions. Permit is required. A complete application and associated fee shall be submitted to the district. Prior to the permit being executed, no site sewer work shall be completed. This approval is subject to completion of the district's acceptance of pump station number 27. Provide updated plan uh, to the superintendent that sat satisfactorily address the peer review comments. In that regard, they actually have provided those updated plans and they're being. Um, currently reviewed by Underwood engineers. Um, and uh, the cost associated with en engineering peer review will be paid by the developer. And that's what I have. Cool. I'll entertain a motion for the project approval. Motion to approve with the conditions set forth by the superintendent. Thank you, Jason. 
Second. Thank you, Paul. Okay. We have Gorpana Harmer, sorry, represented by Drew Gagnon. Yes, thank you. So Drew Gagnon, Goral Palmer, project manager of the Downs. Um, Dave did a great job and really stole my thunder here. So uh, what I will do is I will turn this around and I'll just try to give everyone a little bit of an overview visualization here. Um, I typically like to try to provide an overall map because everyone always gets confused of where we're talking about on the Downs. So um, you guys are pretty familiar with it, but we are talking about, I'll reach over here, this area. Um, so north is actually up. This is the Downs parcel, so Innovation District. Um, it's right up in this area, lot 30 that uh, Pete just presented is right over here, just for some reference. Um, so we're talking about kind of a 12-acre 12 acre application here with uh, the 20 single family lots, three multifamily lots that Dave mentioned. Um, and it's really just kind of completing the town center residential subdivision. Um, so we're gonna, in the future, be creeping north. Um, and we're gonna get into kind of the downtown area in this area of the downs. But uh, this, uh, this application here, the phase nine, really kind of completes everything in town center residential. And uh, we're excited to get going on, uh, on construction here. We, uh, we just got we just got DEP approval and we just got town approval, so we're here in front of you guys for approval tonight. Flip this over, and this is just one of the overall utility plans that was provided in your packages. Um, again, just going to give you guys some context here of the lots and every all the info, all the great info that Dave just gave. Um, so, really, our scope of our work here is uh, a front runner way extension up here, about 400 feet, to kind of enclose lot 34 right here, as well as kind of provide access to lot 42, um, as well as Hackamore Ave and Pacer Way connections. So you can see that kind of creates our, our looped uh, interconnected roadways for this phase. Um, Pacer Way is gonna house the 20 single family homes, which um, as Dave mentioned, one is on gravity sewer and 19 of them are on low pressure sewer that's gonna connect to the Sawgrass Drive neighborhood, which is actually lines up just perfectly with our Hackamore Ave roadway here. Um, so they have a three inch um, force main in there and they had some extra capacity. We did a full analysis on that. So we're sending, like I mentioned, 19 single family homes along this, uh, along this road right here over to Sawgrass Drive. And in addition to that, we're sending one condo unit from lot 40. Uh, it's a 12 unit condo building and that's gonna go up, cut across lot 41 and tie into the force main. Um, so two inch force mains along Hackamore and Pacer and then the connection point will be upsized to three inch and connect into the Sawgrass Drive force main. Um, so that's kind of the limit of our low pressure sewer work for this scope and this phase. Um, this lot down here is the only one that's connected to gravity that's uh, going to Technology Way and Route 1 and Pump Station 5. Um, it's really just grade dependent, the reason why we did that. Um, and then two multifamily condominium developments uh, on the southern end here are connecting to a previously approved stub from the townhouses at Front Runner Park, which is right here. So this is under construction right now. Um, actually, pretty much this is all finished. Probably should have started with this. This is all finished just about in here. Um, this section over here is under construction right now. Um, and we just got town approvals for some roadway connections as well as the proposed bold line work connections there. Um, as Dave mentioned, lot 41, our 36 unit apartment complex, it's very similar type buildings, 12 unit buildings. Um, those are gonna be tributary to the pump station 27, which is just above my hand and off the, off the page up here. Um, as Dave mentioned, that's in concurrent review. Um, we're working with him and we're working with Josh and Underwood Engineering providing um, going back and forth on the plans for that. Uh, we've been talking about it for a while, so we're committed to that. And um, lot 41, lot 42, um, and lot 34, which is this one, which is not in front of you tonight, um, is tributary to that pump station. So we understand we need to get that approved and in the ground before we get any kind of occupancy there. Um, but we wanted to kind of loop this all in, this one area into a phase nine approval. Um, in lot 42, real quick, this is, as Dave mentioned, I don't have a generation for that and I don't have approval for that yet. I'm just leaving a stub. Uh, we'll come back in for that. We're not exactly sure on the, the number of units happening there. We're not exactly sure on um, the, the exact uh, development, what it's gonna look like, how many buildings. So we're gonna um, kind of push that to the, um, to the later and just have the infrastructure ready in the roadway. Um, and then real quick, I promise to be quick, with the phasing, 
of the roadway. Um, we're really doing that. It really relates to growth permits with the town. It's kind of the reasoning why I broke up into four different phases um, for the capacity reserve fee. Uh, we want to come in and build the roads um, Hackamore Ave and Pacer Way just about to this intersection here to get kind of our stormwater and utilities in and that'll take these three single family homes in the first phase and then the condos in the second phase and then the apartments in the third phase and then the rest of the Pacer Way homes in the fourth phase to Sawgrass Drive. Um, so again, it really just relates to trying to get foundations in the ground before winter as well as growth permits and just breaking them up from a construction sequencing. Um, that's all I have. I uh, appreciate your time and happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Any questions for Drew? Probably right, more for the su superintendent versus Drew, but maybe a co combination thereof. I think it was lot five, right? That's going to go into technology way. The one that's not going to be on the loop. Is that right? Lot 43 right here. Yep. So there's one lot that's going to go through technology way and not the current what you're asking for right yeah so well two two of the condo buildings in lot 40 as well as lot 40 if i can that lot 43 single family home is going to the previously approved mains gravity mains in this section which goes down to technology way so that's our limit for the uh, i'll call that sewer shed down in the southern portion everything else is either going to sawgrass drive or the new pump station and so we gonna have to own any of that right away for that trans that that utility or is this all private i think uh, th this is all public this is all yeah. public right away i think that runs to technology drive and what drew had said was it goes to our willowdale pump station yes. which is number five i think that's number five yeah i just didn't know if the part going through from that development that lot to technology way was public or private that's, that's what all saying. that's all public. It's all public okay it's all in the public right of way all right. other, oh, go ahead Kelly. nope no, i'm good thank you right. i have a question uh you said you're doing this in phases any idea what the time frame will be for getting this all built um, well, I know they're antsy to get going with construction. So pretty much as soon as I can give them construction documents, they're going to be off to the races here and we get all our approvals in line. Um, like I mentioned before, they want to build the roadways first, get the utility infrastructure in. Um, I think they're hoping to have some foundations in for the multifamily lots as well as a few of the single family lots in those first phases. Uh, in by the end of the year, uh, whether that's possible, it kind of comes down to weather um, and workmen and crew and everything. Um, so I think what we're... What we're we're, we're looking for occupancy goals um, either in the summer and later, kind of starting there. Um, and I think they're going to roll right into these, you know, the third and fourth phases with the apartments and the rest of the single family homes, um, trying to get them in all before the end of next year is the goal. Thank you. Any other questions? All in favor? None opposed. Thank you, Drew. Hey, thank you. Budget summary. Uh, the eight-month budget summary is included for your, in your packet. I recommend approval. I'll entertain a motion. Second. Who's the first? You got the move. Thank you, Jason. Cool. All right. Um, any questions for the superintendent on the? Budget summary for the past eight months. Barring no questions, I will ask for a vote. All in favor? None opposed. Thank you. Okie dokie. Uh, at this point in time, we ask for public comments. There's one member of the public left. <laughs> if he wants to make any comment, he's more than welcome. He doesn't have to. Thank you. Uh, all right. Uh, trusty comments. We'll start on that end with Joe. Just like to thank Dave and the staff for their continued efforts. Welcome to Josh board. Looking forward to working with you. Uh, reach out to us with uh, anything you ever need. 
and it's our goal to support you and the superintendent and the staff as best we can. So you're welcomed, and uh, thanks for coming on board. Look forward to working with you. Thank you. Go ahead, Jason. Uh, echo Joe's comment. Thanks to the staff and everything they do. I'm again, down there every Friday, typically. Uh, everything seems to be running very smoothly. It's been a, a, a tough time here the last few months with everything that's happened down at the district. But uh, where I wasn't here last week, I wanted to say welcome to Josh. I haven't had a chance to do that publicly yet. Appreciate you coming on board and looking forward to your contributions to the district. And as Joe said, let us know if there's anything you need. Oh, Ruth. Thank you to Dave and your staff for, again, putting together some great um, information for our meeting. I appreciate it. I know it's not easy. Uh, Josh, welcome. Um, it's very good to see a Scarborough boy back in Scarborough. And uh, I look forward to catching up with you and, and finding out how you and your family are. So welcome. Ben. Yeah, thank you, Dave and the staff. Uh, everything seems to be running really well there and makes the trustees job pretty easy and nice to nice to meet you Josh welcome aboard Mike I'm gonna sound like a broken record but <laughs> <laughs> welcome Josh it's great to uh, to finally meet you I've heard a lot of great things about you and uh, thank you to uh, the superintendent and his staff and all that um, they do on on a monthly basis Cool. Paul. Welcome, Josh. Great to have you. I uh, just wanted to thank you, Dave, for posting the uh, design standards on the website. Uh, that was, that's a great idea, I think, and I think that'll be really helpful going forward. So nice, nice job there. Uh, and then I have to apologize, despite plenty of advance notice. Um, I have a, a work commitment I was not able to avoid, so I will miss the employee appreciation event. But this, um, this, does, uh, this is a great district, and, and the employees are doing a tremendous job. The entire team is doing a tremendous job. So congratulations on another great year, and sorry I will miss it. Cool. That's it for me. Well, I'll echo all my trustee comments, minus Paul's uh, declination of the invitation. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome, Josh. Looking forward to working with you. Looking forward to seeing you down at our plant, too. There is one thing that he does need. And a bigger, bigger computer screen. Yes, well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. Yeah, <laughs> no motions on that one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Final motion of the night. Yes. Thank you, Joe. Second. Thank you, Jay. All in favor? None opposed. I would have had my superintendent and one of the trustees not take it off right at the beginning of the meeting. <laughs>